your new life will cost you your old one. The pain of change needs to be smaller than the pain of where you are right now and not liking where you are right now. Oftentimes, I find that people stay stuck in their life because of the fear of change or because the change itself is difficult. But it, when you realize that where you're at right now is not where you want to be, you got to allow yourself to make the pain of where you are right now bigger than the pain of where you want to go. That also means that oftentimes when we change our life and we transform and we decide to do things differently, the old life has to go. When you want a different life, ask yourself right now, when you visualize yourself stepping into your future self, knowing that you can be her, what parts of yourself right now in your current life can no longer be part? What parts of yourself, of your life, the people that you surround yourself with, the conversations that you have, the habits that you have, the way that you show up, the things that you do that you know are not getting you any further. What parts of yourself do you need to let go? And oftentimes that pain of letting go of these parts of yourself feels bigger than just staying where you're at. Because the truth is your brain likes the familiar, but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that the familiar is the good choice for you. So only because your brain likes the familiar, we have to understand that when we want change, we need to tell our brain that we are safe when we are creating a new life and when we are letting go of the things that are no longer serving us. So can you be okay with not feeling safe for a moment? When you're changing, when you're creating a new life, you got to be okay that there's also going to be a part of you that will grieve the old version of you. That old version of you that knew what to do to be her. And you might even step into this new version of you without knowing who she is, without knowing what's next. And you gotta trust yourself that the old version of you, she can't be alive anymore. She has to go. And so whenever you are changing your life and you're recognizing and you're feeling like this is hard, this is hard work, I can't do this, this is too much, bring yourself back to, well, if I stay where I am right now for the next three, four, five years, will I like the way that my life looks like? Will I like seeing my life unfold into the direction that it will fold into? when I don't change anything right now. And that's where you gotta become super honest with yourself and tell yourself that it is okay to feel fear. It is okay to feel grief. It is okay for things to not always be easy when we're changing and transforming, but we also gotta be okay with the fact that if you want a life that is different, you will have to stop doing the things that got you to where you are right now. Your current version of yourself, the current life that you live is a result of who you were yesterday and the last couple of years, weeks or months or decades, let's say. And so when you know this, you know that today you're a result of the past versions of yourself, the past thoughts that you had, the habits that you had, the things that you did, the people that you met. You know that if you continue doing it this way, it will probably not get you to where you want to go. So you have to ask yourself, well, what parts of myself got me here? And what parts of myself do I need to develop and step into to create the life that I truly desire? This is really where you got to bring it back to yourself and you got to be okay with things feeling uncomfortable at first, with feeling unsafe, but you got to trust yourself that you can do that. And that pain, that grief that you're going to be going through by letting go of your old life is absolutely normal, but it's going to be so worth it when you decide to make things work, when you decide to change your life, when you start to see that it is absolutely possible for you. I hope this resonated with you. If it did, please let me know. Sending you love, subscribe to the channel, and until the next one, bye-bye.